Zach Simeone with a news update. The death toll is approaching 4,000 following the devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake that shook Nepal on April 25th, with aftershocks continuing in the days that followed. More than 3,800 are reported dead as of April 27th, and that number is expected to climb in the coming days as searches continue. Thousands are still missing, and data maps indicate that the damage covers an area greater than 1,500 miles, 2,500 kilometers, including Nepal, northern India, and southern China, according to the organization Maps of India. Hundreds of climbers are reported to be trapped on Mount Everest in Tibet, more than 150 miles from the epicenter in Nepal's Gorkha district. These photos show bits of the aftermath in the Nepalese capital of Kathmandu shortly after the earthquake on Saturday. With the wounded being carried away, we see some of the structural damage and the emotional toll. Here we see the city continuing to manage on Sunday, with military personnel on site, along with efforts to provide food and shelter to those affected. The hospitals were still filled with victims come Monday, with the number of injured now well into the thousands as well. Aid has come into the country from around the world. In Chutapati, just northeast of Kathmandu, this contributor's photos show an aerial view of a campsite set up for survivors. And at Pashpatinath Temple nearby, mass cremations were held on Monday for some of the deceased. In the U.S., protesters took to the streets of Baltimore, Maryland on April 25th, crying out for justice in the case of the death of Freddie Gray. It was the largest march yet to be held in Gray's honor. After several hours of orderly demonstration on Saturday, the protests turned violent with more than 30 arrests made and six people reported injured. Here we see protesters causing heavy damage to police cars and officers storming the scene, leading to a confrontation in the streets. Freddie Gray, a 25-year-old black man, died on April 19th after suffering a fatal spinal injury while in police custody. The public has been discomforted by the lack of explanation of the circumstances surrounding his injuries and subsequent death. More than 2,000 mourners filled New Shiloh Baptist Church in Baltimore Monday morning for Gray's funeral. A record number of participants turned out for the 35th annual Virgin Money London Marathon on April 26th. More than 38,000 people registered and ran, smashing the 2012 record of 37,227. The demographic for this year's race spanned from professionals to amateurs, from charity runners to celebrities. One couple even tied the knot halfway through the 26.2 mile course. Three-time winner and current world record holder Paula Radcliffe ran her final marathon race this year. The winner of the elite division for men was Joshua George at an hour and 31 minutes, with Tatiana McFadden finishing out the women's race in an hour and 41 minutes. Fun runners dressed up as the Mona Lisa, Wilma Flintstone, Dracula, an emu, and a dinosaur, to name a few. Many were running for charity, contributing to more than 700 million pounds raised since the race began in 1981. For New Zulu, this is Zach Simeone reporting.